So I have a simple practice for us um, relating to our bodies and uh, taking care of our bodies. But first what I wanted to do was to define happiness, maybe in a different way than what we're used to. Um, happiness, of course, is a, uh, a good feeling that we have. Um, but the distinction that's important here is it requires external stimuli. So we need something within our environment, something happening on the earth, uh, and somebody else's energy potentially that uh, requires us to be happy. And uh, it's kind of like chasing something that may or may not happen. And that doesn't really work out ultimately overall. So I'd say stop looking for happiness and start recognizing that you can generate joy within you. Joy is different than happiness. Um, joy is an internal feeling that you create. You have that ability to recognize how amazing you are and what a miracle it is that you have this awareness and consciousness of yourself in the earth environment. When you allow yourself to tap into that, the joy lights up from your heart, it warms your whole body, and uh, you get to shine that out uh, in your external activities. And it's contagious in the best sense of that word, contagious. Um, so happiness requires external stimuli. Joy just requires your uh, contemplation and uh, awareness of the amazing thing that you are, this living, breathing being. You are a being. And uh, once you sit with that for a little bit, use it in meditation, it becomes a whole new world for you. So stop chasing happiness and start recognizing how you generate joy within you. You're like a battery. You're literally a battery. Um, that can generate this amazing, joyous energy. So now, the practice itself specific to the body, we don't recognize how much work our body does for us automatically. We even breathe uh, involuntary breaths. Like if we're not even thinking about breathing, it just happens automatically. Um, so being aware of the miracle that your body is, this gift, um, all you have to do is take your arms, <laughs> wrap them around your uh, chest or midsection, and say thank you. Tell it that you're thankful uh, for what it does, for all of the work and effort that it puts into keeping you in this experience. Uh, how exciting is that? Maybe we think it's silly to do that and to give ourselves that that love, that body, the love and the attention and, and uh, uh, being grateful for it. Um, but give it a chance. Uh, give it a real opportunity uh, each day as part of your practice. Um, again, only takes a minute, two minutes. Hug your, your midsection with both arms and hands and really feel it from within your heart saying thank you. Massage your shoulders, your arms, your hands. Uh, thank them for allowing you to move things from place to place. Do the same thing with your legs and massage your feet. Um, thank them for allowing you to stand and uh, maneuver in your environment. Um, also your, your organs. Put your hand on your heart and thank your heart for pumping your blood. Uh, put your hands on your back. Massage your kidneys and thank your kidneys for the filtration that they do. Thank your liver. The liver is like a, a workhorse in our bodies and does so much. Make sure you go through all the organs, uh, all of your limbs. Uh, thank your throat, your voice, this amazing instrument that you have to communicate. So it may seem silly to do this and uh, out of the ordinary 
uh, type of thing for a standard daily practice. But by doing this and giving uh, gratitude to your body, it allows you to create that joy so much easier as a result.